Do you want to know how you can tell the difference between a machine-made carpet that is being sold as a real one and a genuine handmade rug? If you want actual tips on how to be able to tell the difference between the two, watch this video. Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in a series of videos that is all about handmade carpets. Welcome you to our channel. Hope you and your family are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be a answering some of your questions. Um, and these have to do with handmade silk carpets. And due to the influx of machine-made carpets that are made to look like the real thing, I have been getting probably uh, inundated with emails like I did last night from one of my viewers from our channel. And she, she asked me to look at pictures of a rug that she was looking at buying. And I, these are the type of questions I get all the time. And she wanted to know my opinion on whether or not the rug that she was looking at was a handmade piece or whether it was, as she suspected, to be a machine made. So I have made a number of videos. And this is actually very special to me because I was actually finally able to get my hands on a small enough machine made rug. And this is it right here. I got two of them right here. These are being sold as genuine handmade rugs. And this to my left is an actual genuine handmade Persian gom rug. Here you got a machine made rug. I'm going to show you using these rugs as an example. And I actually got a couple more. Um, I'm going to show you step by step. I'm going to give you tips on how you can tell the difference. So um, you, when you look at whether you own a rug or whether you are buying, when you're looking at the silk rugs, you um, there are certain tips that I think I can share with you that you may be able to use that will help you. Because like I said, this is something that I get questions about all the time. I, it is probably amongst the most common questions that I receive. It not only has to do with the Persian rugs, but it also has to do with, for example, we have the Turkish, the Herike rugs. Um, we have influx of them, and I've made vi many, many videos about them, where you have the genuine Turkish ones, and then you have what is now being sold, 90% of all the rugs in Turkey that are being sold are actually the Chinese knockoffs. And so the same thing what's happening in Iran with the Persian rug industry, um, the Persian gom rugs were synonymous with some of the finest, the best types of the most valued Persian rugs. Well, nowadays, 90% of the pure silk gom rugs are being made. Uh, these are machine made rugs, but they're being made in such a way that they are actually, it's hard to tell that they're actually machine made. So, um, and this also has to do with, um, I'm just going to use a different example here. I borrowed these two watches from my friends. We have a genuine Rolex, and we have what has got to be the most beautiful copy of one. It, it feels, it looks just like the real thing. The difference is this wannabe Daytona. Um, yeah, we got it for, I guess he bought it for a couple of hundred bucks where the real one is, yeah, you can add a couple of zeros behind it and then some. So, um, and like I said, this video, it's all about real and fake, and I couldn't help myself but grab, I was, when I was able to do this, 
I figured I'm also going to hold a real Rolex and a fake one and let you know that, yeah, unfortunately, this is the way things are going um, in many ways also in the rug industry. So um, before I get started, um, I get a lot of folks who send me pictures um, about rugs that they own. Um, and this is something that I do on the side. It's I enjoy it. Um, if the information of my video channel is of help to you, then God bless us all. Um, if you have any questions, um, there is a link below in the description that also um, details the type of pictures I need. So if you have questions about a rug that you may have, um, simply take a look at the video below, the link, uh, click on it, watch the video. It shows you the type of pictures, the file size and everything. Email to me. I'll be more than happy to take a look at them and give you a quick answer. I do this now on a regular basis and more and more as our channel keeps growing. I do my best to answer your questions. Um, one thing I do want to point out to you guys is that I don't think any respectable person would be able to look at pictures and give you price estimates. And this is something that I get asked about all the time. I have people asking me to look at the rugs and giving them opinions about estimates and values. That is something I do not do um, simply because judging a rug by pictures is one thing. I can tell you what type it is and all that stuff. But if somebody were to ask me how much the rug is worth, it would also depend on not only obviously where you're located at and all that stuff, but it would require me to actually see the rug in person. And that is not something that I'm about to get into, um, being that I take these videos in our warehouse in Germany here, helping my family run our wholesale business. Well, um, and then I also have my obvious online business at mprugs.com, which is centered out of Colorado. And so I do a lot of traveling, and I always tell people I cannot, it's physically not possible for me to value rugs. I can tell you what it is, but please keep in mind, bear in mind that I cannot just give, give you my idea of what I think a rug is worth because that would require me to look at the rugs. But basically, um, to get started, um, also, oh, by the way, there is also the subscribe option for you. There is a like option. Um, YouTubers like to always point out that it's important and they encourage you and all that stuff. I honestly, um, if you like the video channel, it's all about handmade carpets. Feel free to subscribe. We do a few videos a month, but I'm not the kind of person out there who's trying to hustle you for anything. So um, feel free to subscribe, like us. Um, if you need more information about any rugs that you see, also check them out at mprugs.com. But to basically get started, um, I have two rugs right here that I'm going to be using as demos. And I took multiple pictures of them as well. And these are, um, as I'm holding them in my hands, just to give you an idea, both of these and I, this is something like I said, this has been well over a year in the making. Um, I made a bunch of videos where I talk about the differences and I've tried to help people as much as I can because unfortunately there is so much fraud involved with the silk rugs that this was something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So here we have two small sized silk rugs, perfect way for me to demonstrate to you and give you tips on how you can tell the difference. On one hand, on my left, we have a handmade piece. This is genuine gold. This is genuine handmade. This, for example, would retail. Um, this is something in the neighborhood of between five to eight hundred dollars. Really fine, exceptional piece. Then to the other side of me, this is one hundred percent. This is machine made. 
Now, as I'm going to show to you um, with the pictures and everything, there are features that are added to this rug by hand. But this is a, basically a machine-made rug. The difference between the two pieces, five to eight hundred dollars. This one you can buy, well, well, fifty, seventy-five dollars. So this rug, handmade, ten times more expensive than the machine made. But the machine made is being sold as a handmade. I am uh, not about to hire a team of lawyers, so I'm not going to disclose the uh, where you can buy these. But if you, unfortunately, with over 90% of the new rugs, especially that are being offered in the Middle East in places like Saudi Arabia, Dubai, becoming flooded with um, these imitation rugs, it is really important to know the differences. And um, it's always been a bit difficult for me. Um, I grew up in this. And so it's one thing, it's like I always tell people, it's like being a mechanic. Uh, a mechanic can learn all they want, but at the end of the day, gut instinct rules the day for a lot of people and so um, I've been wanting to do this so that I can actually um, laser point you towards ways that you can actually tell the difference so um, to basically get started if you are into Persian rugs if you own a silk rug or if you're looking at buying a rug here are pointers that you can use yourself without needing any experience whatsoever on how to tell the difference between real and fake. So, number one, fringes. The first thing I always look for when I get pictures of rugs from clients, obviously, they oftentimes the first picture is one of the whole rug, which is great. But here we got the picture side by side. That's typically, that's great. That tells me what type of rug it is. 99% of the time I can look at a picture and say, okay, yeah, this is what the rug is. But what matters to you is if you want to know what the, how you can tell the difference, Look on the back of the rug, and this is actually one of the pictures that I oftentimes request for from viewers, is send me a picture of a corner of the rug, the back and the front, because you will notice that on the handmade fringe, the edge of the rug, you'll see like for example and this is a phenomenon the last five or ten years they have these little dreads that they put in there but you will notice how the fringes are also visible at the very end the fringes is the foundation of the rug it goes down the whole rug and you'll notice the fringe is attached this is part of the rug so what you see right there is the actual fringe where it came out of the pile and then you notice how they got the dreads but you have the fringes now on the machine made rug this rug was being that it was machine made did not have fringes the fringes were added and oftentimes added by hand this is to make the rug give the rug an appearance though that it is handmade. You will notice that there is braiding right there where the fringes end. You see the dreads and then you see the braids. You can see it in the pictures. That is a telltale sign that it is machine made. Now, it does not mean that it is I I don't want you to, I want you to understand. I have not yet seen a handmade pure silk gomrock that has 
the braiding along the bottom. So if you see this right here, um, you can see me, I circled it in the picture. That is a sign, a very high possibility that it is machine made. So that is one thing I want you to notice. Whether it is the rug that you're looking at buying, whether it is one that you already own, look for that on your rug. You see braids, chances are, and I am not talking about the dreadlocks. I'm talking about the fringe at the bottom there. That is a telltale sign. Number two. Look at the back of both rugs and notice how when you have a pure silk gold rug, and this goes the same for just about any type of silk rug. Um, I showed, you can see the pictures there. You notice how on one of them, the knots seem to be uneven and the foundation is noticeable in certain spots whereas in the machine made rug the foundation you can see the white lines clearly going through every um, the knot the above and below the knots you should not see that in handmade rugs so if you're looking at a rug, whether you own it or buying it, doesn't matter. Take a look on the back of it, roll it up, and this is something, like I said, anybody can do. Take a look at it. Do you see wide lines going across the back? If you do, machine made. That is also a real simple way, and again, there are exceptions to the rule. I have not yet seen them. Again, genuine, when you roll them up, you will see that the foundation is not exposed. The white lines going across, not there. Here, you do. So this is the difference, machine made, handmade. That is something that I also look for in the pictures. I oftentimes will blow up the pictures. Or if you're in the store, take a picture with your cell phone. Blow it up. That's the easiest way. You can, again, tell the difference. Um, also, um, there are some people who have asked about the looking at them from the top. Well, I can tell you, I'm just going to hold the two side by side here really can't tell much of a difference. Now, one is genuine silk and the other one is synthetic silk. But the quality of the synthetic silk has come such a long ways that it's sometimes difficult to even tell the difference. But, um, and they're classified legally both as silk. But you will notice that, um, and I took this picture right here. What I did was I rolled them up from the front so I had the machine-made rug, and then I did the same thing with the handmade rug. And you can tell when, you, when I put them on top, you can see it in the picture right there, that the bottom piece on the machine-made, the synthetic silk doesn't stick to each other. And so it looks a little bit frizzled. Whereas in the handmade piece, the silk is just perfectly smooth. But that is not something you may be able to tell. So it's just an added pointer, but it's the first two that I really want you to pay attention to. The looking, look out for the fringes and also look out for the foundation, the lines. Um, those are the two. The, how the silk looks and all that, that is oftentimes subject to opinions. Everyone has their own thing. So um, also another point I want to point out to you is that uh, on the machine-made rugs, um, and like a majority of them, new ones are unfortunately machine-made. As I point out to you, the silk 
if you look at the quality of the silk and the coloring, natural silk is not pure white. And the machine-made silk, uh, the synthetic silk, this is really white. Well, you're not going to get pure white in nature. Oh, well, I guess snow would be the, the exception. But being that on real silk, it's always a little bit of an off-white, and I'm hoping that the picture here will show it to you clearly. Um, that's another telltale side. Um, so if you see real white, clean, just absolutely perfect, then you know that um, chances are it's machine-made. Also, another thing is, um, in the case right here, we have the signature. As you can see, we have, and this is also common amongst the Persian gold, uh, gold rugs, and you have the same thing, for example, in the Turkish Herike rugs, you have the signatures. But you can tell the difference between genuine and um, basically a copy, or in this case, we have a machine-made rug is when you look at the signature, and I'll give you an example here. This is a perfect example. You would look at the signature, and you would say, wow, okay, it's signed by the weaver. Normally, it has the name of the workshops, but what you, when you look up close, or especially if you ask someone who actually knows how to read Farsi, in this case, in Persian, they'll tell you what this says. It's uh, Iran diamonds. Almost, um, Iran, almost. Almost means diamonds in Farsi, in Persian. And it's a mirror then, again, this is totally not what people do. Normally you would have in the, um, in the gom rugs, you would, it would say something like Iran, gom, and the name of the workshop. Well, I've never heard of a workshop in Iran being called diamonds. Uh, just And so what they did was, it says Iran diamonds, and then on the other side here, this is a mere reflection, it's a diamonds Iran. Well, that's not how signatures would appear in genuine pieces. At least I haven't seen one yet, but I oftentimes, I always tell people, do not value rugs or don't think that the signatures are a sign of authenticity. Very important. Don't pay for rugs based on signatures unless you have documentation that there's something special about them. So um, here you have it. This is, like I said, this is one of the most um, asked about topics. And I finally was able to get my hands on a couple of small pieces that allows me to literally showcase to you what it is that I'm talking about when we talk about handmade rugs, machine-made rugs. And um, like I said, um, here we had another piece machine-made from the same manufacturer, from the same, you know, you can call them workshop. I call it a factory. What they do is they make, they pump these out. I mean, this literally takes about, the machine can do something like this in about 10 minutes. And then all they do is they add the fringe, uh, they add, by a sewing machine, they shoot in the fringes. And then where they are literally stitched together, they cover it up with the braiding. And then they oftentimes nowadays, depending on the level of expertise or, you know, depending on the grade of the machine-made rugs, sometimes they also work over on the sides. They add the sides, the stitching here by hand. And sometimes they'll even take a metal brush and they'll go over the back. And this is to give the knots a little bit of an irregular look and feel and density to make it look like these are handmade when they're not, when they're machine made. But yeah, you can buy these rugs right now. Unfortunately, I've had people left and right who have emailed me with pictures of their rugs that they bought whether they were on business trips or on vacations, on cruises throughout the Mediterranean and also in the Middle East. And unfortunately, they are now also becoming more and more visible 
in commercial websites. Um, again, for legal purposes, I'm not going to disclose to you what those websites are, but this is places where people sell rugs themselves, um, small businesses, individuals, and unfortunately, this has become a huge problem because these rugs are made specifically, in my opinion, these rugs are being made to be sold as handmade rugs. It seems like, and I have had people advertising, literally, they contact me, they want me to buy their rugs, and they promise me rugs that are machine-made at tremendous savings, but they actually pride themselves on marketing them as rugs that are virtually bulletproof. These are so authentically machine-made rugs that they promise I can sell them as handmade rugs at a tremendous profit. Unfortunately, while they have no problems finding my website through Google, they apparently haven't discovered um, my YouTube channel yet, which is a blessing to us all. But I actually have featured some of their stuff um, in other videos of mine where I talk about the real and the um, fake Gomrucks. So I hope this video is of help to you. And I'm sorry if it is as long as it is. I want to make sure that all of you can not only see the examples, but um, sometimes I have a tendency of repeating myself. But please remember, there are a lot of people who watch these videos are not native English speaking. And so sometimes what I have learned is that I've had a lot of people who have sometimes criticized me and complained. They said, Mike, you talk too long or you are repeating yourself. But others have also pointed out that they appreciate the fact because it allows them to truly understand what it is I'm saying. Because like I said, the video channel of ours keeps growing and the vast majority of viewers of our videos are actually not native English speaking. So um, I try to make it as um, informative to them as well as to everyone else. So um, again, I hope this video is of help to you, especially those of you who are looking at the silk rugs or if you know someone who either owns a silk rug or is in the market of buying one, please do us all a favor and forward the video to them because like I said, there is a huge difference between paying, um, when you pay some, for something, thinking that it is handmade. Just like I said, with the Rolex watches, it's one thing for you to go out and buy one. But when you end up with something that is fake and you don't know about it until years later, well, that doesn't do any service to anyone other than the person who sold it. So, um, again, hope the video was of help. I hope um, if you're into Persian rugs or if you're into handmade rugs in general, feel free, of course, to subscribe to our channel. Again, there's a lot of information in our website as well at mprugs.com, and you can see examples of all the rugs and everything in the pictures. So um, I'm going to be coming back to you with many more videos to come, as I always do. I wish you and your family the very best until we see each other again. Best wishes. Take care.